How's it going everybody and welcome back to our latest episode of Combat Tips Season 3. Today's episode is going to be featuring the fan favorite Scream Queen herself, Sindel. As per usual, if there's any controls I say in today's video that don't entirely make sense to you, feel free to use this guide right there and that will allow you to convert any of the controls I mention into any other platform currently hosting Mortal Kombat 11. We are over here on the cosmetic screen, and that is to show you that as of this video's release date, there are currently 21 out of 21 finishers for Sindel, which means this video is going to be featuring 9 different brutalities. If you know these videos and you already know, we're going to be starting off with the classic today, but as usual, if there's any particular brutality you have come here to learn, feel free to hop on down to either the description or the comments where you can find timestamps to help you get to any of the brutalities I feature in today's video. Let's get started. I'll see you all there. Alrighty folks, so the classic. Now, in order to perform this one, you have to make sure that you do not block an attack during the final round. And just to clarify, the final round is the round you are going to be victorious on, so that can be either round 2 or 3. It does not strictly have to be round 3, as some might assume. Furthermore, when you go to finish your opponent, you want to make sure that you finish them with an uppercut, which is either going to be down Y or down triangle, and make sure to hold either Y or triangle during that uppercut to make sure this works. Let me show you what this should look like. Alrighty, folks, so our uppercut, again, that is down Y or down triangle. Here we go. Boom. Easy enough. Alright folks, so before we move in for that final blow, something I like to clarify with the classic is that when it says not to block an attack during the final round, you can in fact accidentally push the button to block. As you can see here, I'm blocking. We're on round two. This is going to be my victorious round. If you hit it by accident, that's okay. So long as you don't take damage while you're in the block stance, okay? So just keep that in mind. I just mentioned that because for me, sometimes it is just reflex to hit that block button. And as long as you don't take damage, you can still do this brutality. So here we go, folks. Let's finish the opponent. One more reminder, do not block an attack during your final round. Again, it's okay if you accidentally hit the button, just don't take damage. And beyond that, all you got to do is finish your opponent with an uppercut, which is down Y or down triangle, and make sure to hold either Y or triangle on your respective controller during that uppercut. Here we go, folks. Pop. <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, what can I say? It's the classic. Every character has it. You guys hear it a million times if you watch these tutorials. I just like to include them because then you can click one character and get all their brutalities in one place. This one, though, I do say I like this one a little bit more just because of that, uh, uh, that pole arm she uses to strike upwards. It just makes the uppercut look all the more brutal, in my opinion. But on to the next one. So next up, we have the Edenian Guillotine. Now, in order to perform this one, you want to finish your opponent with a towards throw. And while that animation is playing out, push down three times quick. Though if you want my advice, just spam down to guarantee that it works. Let me show you what this should look like. Alrighty, folks, so when it comes to throws, there are two ways we can perform them. We can either tap L1 or left button, like so. This is the most traditional way that I like to do it. It's just the simplest way on a modern controller. However, if you are more versed in arcade style play and you prefer, you can actually push square and X at the same time or X and A at the same time. And as you can see, we also do a throw. Now something to note here for this particular brutality is we need to do a towards throw. And as you just saw, both of those demonstrations were back throws. Now all we have to do to switch it up to a towards throw is push forward into the direction of the opponent while pushing that respective throw input. So in my case, I'm going to push L1 and move towards the opponent. And as you can see here, that is our towards throw. Simple enough. You can also do the same again with the arcade inputs. Just move towards the opponent, tap your two inputs like so, and boom, a throw. Alrighty folks, so we're going to finish the opponent now. Again, all we have to do is perform that towards throw and push down three times very quickly. But again, if you want my tip, just spam the down direction. It'll help guarantee that this works. Let's go for it. Forward throw, spamming down. And there we have it, folks. Boop. <laughs> This one is just very sassy. I like it in that regards. It's not even necessarily the craziest animation of sorts, but just that little oof, little flick of the hair at the end. I like it. It's a nice little salt to the wound, if you ask me. 
on to the next one. So next up is the Violent Uprising Brutality, and in order to perform this one, all you have to do is finish your opponent with a back throw, and while that animation is playing out, you want to make sure you rapidly press either X and Y at the same time, or square and triangle, again, depending on your respective controller. Let me show you what this should look like. So with that last brutality, we just went over how to do a towards throw, but just in case you didn't see it, again, all you have to do is tap either L1 or left button to do a back throw. No directions required. Boom, just tap it, and there is our back throw by default. And again, if you want to use the arcade inputs, square and X at the same time, or X and A at the same time. And there we have it, folks. That is our back throw. Very simple. Just a little suggestion for those of you who may have trouble rapidly spamming the buttons, I like to take my pointer and middle fingers, take my controller like so, put them on those buttons and just rapidly beat them like that. And by doing this, it just helps me guarantee that I get this brutality to work all the more easier. Alrighty folks, we're moving in for the final strike here. One more reminder, just finish your opponent with a back throw, and while that animation is playing out, spam either the X and Y buttons very rapidly, or the square and triangle buttons, again, very rapidly. Let's go for it. Spamming those buttons. Boom. Pop. Very easy. Alrighty folks, so next up is the real head turner brutality. Now, this brutality will require that you get the first hit in the match, and I will show you how to confirm this in a moment with our demonstration. Beyond that, I do also want to clarify that it says hold X during the hit, or square of course depending on your controller, but that does not mean during the first hit, that does in fact mean during the final hit. I have tested this just in case you're wondering, so beyond that, your final hit itself has to come from the main squeeze, and again, that is when you'll want to hold square or X on your respective controller. Let's hop into our demonstration. So real quick, we're going to go over how to confirm first hit props. As you can see on my respective side of the screen over here on the left, boom, I got the first hit. And as you can see over there, first hit props. If you see that under your respective health bar, that means you, of course, have the first requirement for this brutality down. So keep that in mind. You need this for this particular brutality to work. Alright folks, so the main squeeze ability, that is going to be back forward X or back forward square, and that'll look, boom, just like that, you gotta love that hair flip. Alright folks, let's move in for that final strike here using the main squeeze ability, and while that ability is playing out, make sure to hold either square or X on your respective controller. Let's go for it folks, holding square, oh, and pop, kicked head right off. <laughs> there we go folks. Very straightforward. Again, just make sure you get that first hit props and you really won't have any other issues performing this brutality. All right, folks, so next up is the Whip It Good Brutality, and this one will require that you have the whip and flip ability in your arsenal. So, of course, do make sure that's all good and set up if you want to perform this one. So the requirements for this brutality ask that you do not land a fatal blow at any point during the match, and just a reminder, the fatal blow is the ability you can use when you're below 30% HP, usually activated by pushing both back triggers at the same time. Do not use it. Next up, you want to also make sure that you have more than 50% of your health remaining. Make sure you have that going on, or of course, this brutality won't work. And last but not least, you want to make sure the final hit itself comes from either an aerial whip and flip or just a regular ground whip and flip. Let's get into the demonstration. So the whip and flip, very straightforward move. We have a couple options when maneuvering with it. First off, we'll just start simple, down back B or down back circle. And as you can see, boom, the whip and the flip. Now, like a good handful of moves in Mortal Kombat 11, the whip and flip can actually have its direction maneuvered depending on your input. So we'll just do the normal one now, and I call this about medium length, and that again is down back B, down back circle. Boom, that's just the basic whip and flip. But as well, we can also do down back B or down back circle and push backwards into ourselves. And as you can see, that one goes a lot shorter, a lot closer, just in case you're planning on your opponent being closer to you. And again, we can also do forwards at the end of this input, and instead we will get, boom, a much farther leap. And again, as you can see, by doing that one, we were still able to actually get a hold of the opponent, despite being at the same starting point as the other two whip and flips. The last thing I want to cover with the whip and flip is just simply the fact that, of course, we can use this in the air. So if you want to jump and put that same input in, down back B, down back circle, boom, you can grab the opponent and also finish them in that way. Simply said, let's move on to our finisher. 
Alrighty folks, so let's move in for our final strike here. Remember, you need more than 50% of your health remaining, which as you can see, marked by this notch on the health bar, we are well above that threshold. And just as a reminder as well, over here, for Devora, as you can see, she has her Fatal Blow active. As a player, make sure you do not use that during this match if you want to perform this brutality, which, to wrap it up, all we have to do is use a whip and flip at this point. Down back B, down back circle, either on the ground or in the air. I'm gonna go in the air just because that's what I prefer. I think it looks cooler. Here we go. Whack. Oh. Beautiful. I mean, this is definitely one of the cooler ones Sindel has, if you ask me. I just like how it incorporates that, you know, traditional love of her hair abilities and just smashing them and thrashing them on the ground like that. That's a brutality, if you ask me. On to the next one. Alright folks, so next up is the Supersonic Exfoliator Brutality. This one really only asks that you finish the opponent either with a Scream or a Shriek. In our case, we're going to be using the Scream, but you might have the Shriek in your arsenal if you have a different move setup. And while that Scream is happening, all we have to do is make sure to hold backwards during the animation. Very straightforward. Let's get into it. Alrighty folks, so the Scream ability, very straightforward. Back forward Y or back forward triangle. And as you can see right there, we can also hold either Y or triangle, like so, and that'll charge it up, and boom, stun the opponent a little bit harder if you manage to hit him with it. Sometimes you'll also get a crushing blow if you can hit him as a punish or a counter to one of their incoming moves. Alrighty folks, we're moving in to finish the opponent with the scream ability, back forward Y or back forward triangle, and just make sure to hold backwards during this animation. Let's go for it. Oof. Now that is indeed an exfoliation, Jesus. I like this one a lot actually, I know it's not too crazy, but just the idea of having all of your flesh removed by purely sound or screeching seems unpleasant if you ask me. On to the next brutality. Alright everybody, so next up is the Eardrum Shredder Brutality. Now this one asks that you have less than 30% of your health remaining when you go to perform it, and the final hit itself has to come from the You Will Die combo. And while that combo is happening, make sure to hold down during the final animations to guarantee that this brutality works. Let's get into it. So the You Will Die combo could not get any easier. It is literally just X and then X or square and square, and as you can see, boom boom, that's all we have to worry about. So just some quick confirmation for you folks, as you can see up here, we are at 290 out of 1000 HP, that means in this case, 300 HP would be 30%, so as long as you're below that, you should be good to go. A quick way to know this is if you have your Fatal Blow active, that again means you are in the proper threshold. Alright everybody, let's move in for that final strike. Remember, you need less than 30% of your HP, which of course we have, and you want to finish the opponent with the You Will Die combo, and while that's happening, make sure to hold down on your respective controller. Let's go for it. Ooh. Oh. Now that's a headache. <laughs> I like this one because it doesn't just rupture the head, it bores a hole through it, and that's just like a whole nother level of nasty all on its own. It's gross to see gore and giblets everywhere, but it's almost another type of gross to see them still slightly intact yet mangled. I don't know. On to the next one, folks. Alright folks, so next up is the Getting In Their Head Brutality. Now this one will require that you have the Enhanced Regal Presence ability set up, so make sure you have this right here ready to go if you want to perform this brutality. As for the requirements, the final hit must come from a Star Screamer during the Regal Presence stance, and you want to make sure that final hit itself comes into contact with the opponent's head. So. Let me show you what this all should look like right now. Alright folks, so Regal Presence is either going to be down back A or down back X. And as you can see, that puts us up in the air. Now we have a couple different options here. We can use Queen's Dominion with B. We can use the Scream with the Y button. Or, in our case, we want to use the Star Screamer with X. Just like that. Very simple folks. One more time. Just go into Regal Presence Stance with down back A or down back X, and then you simply push the X or square button right after, and boom. If you ask me, get to about medium distance if you can, and that should usually come into contact pretty nicely with the head. 
All right, folks, let's move in for the final strike here. Again, all we want to do is pop up into Regal Presence. I suggest doing it from about a medium distance if you're trying to go for this brutality. Here we are, up in the air with our Regal Presence, and then finish the opponent with a Star Screamer, which is either X or Square on your respective controller. Boom. <laughs> Woo! I almost wish the head didn't explode in those, like, jack o lantern jack o lantern those jack o lantern like flames just kept coming out of them i don't know that one looked really cool for a moment not that the explosion isn't good but it would have been cool if they just kept the burning going on the whole time if you know the opponent just collapsed and i don't know wasn't that permanent jack o lantern like state i like that animation i thought it looks pretty cool but on to our last brutality for today folks Alrighty, folks so last but certainly not least is the half measures brutality now this one asks that your final hit come from the Evil Queen combo, and while that animation is playing out, you want to hold up to guarantee the brutality works. Additionally, you want to also make sure that you have a more than 40% of your health remaining. Let me show you what this should all look like right now. So the Evil Queen combo is going to be forward Y, X, up Y, or forward triangle, square, up triangle. And that'll look something like that. Very easy. Just the usual health reminder, since this brutality requires it, make sure you have more than 40% of your health remaining, marked by this notch right here, or again, if you have statistics turned on, 400 HP or more, you're all set to do this one. Alrighty folks, so let's move in for the final strike here. Remember, you need more than 40% of your HP remaining, which we are well above that threshold. And then you want to finish the opponent with the Evil Queen combo. And while that's happening, during that last bit of the combo, make sure to hold up. Let's go for it. Beautiful. This is probably, this one's one of my favorites. Probably combined with the, uh, the hair flip one, the whip and flip. I like that one a lot as well. The two of those... Probably some of the more brutal ones I've seen with uh, Sindel, but I don't know folks Let me know what you thought down below of all these brutalities. Let's move on to our closing words All right, everybody yet another episode of combat tips out of the way today covering Sindel as usual If there's any other updates that come out for these characters in the future, they may get a follow-up video But for now, that's everything she's got to offer as usual, folks, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to let me know down below in the form of a comment or a like, and if you want to see more content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can find out exactly when more content like this goes live. As I always say, folks, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Your feedback means a lot to me. And of course, again, it helps this channel keep going. It inspires me to keep making tutorials, either just because it lets me learn new things or because it lets me interact with more Mortal Kombat fans like yourselves. So, that all said, thank you very much for watching today's video, and hopefully, we'll catch you next time. Until then, stay safe and stay happy. Adios.